The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. And it's for the Heritage World Championship. This guy is talented. This guy's the real deal. One half of the Australian duo known as TM61, Nick Miller is a thrill seeker. High energy, high impact with a bright future in WWE. Yeah, TM61 has had a lot of tag team success on NXT, but prime opportunity for Nick Miller to pave his own path. One-on-one -on -one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable. Introducing the challenger. From Perth, Western Australia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Nick Miller. Introducing the champion, from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 297 pounds, he is the Heritage World Champion. Ken Harnett. Put down that remote, stay a while. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think got the shoulders down. You're not gonna win many matches that easily. Just power out. Slam with authority. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years, and perhaps none was more gruesome than in 2012 when Brock Lesnar busted John Cena open following a vicious attack. Oof. Got it. Michael, that sledgehammer can cause some serious damage. Got it. Needing a better look and charging the ring. Quite a history between these two, Cole. As Byron mentioned, Lesnar's attack on Cena in 2012 was without question gruesome. And furthermore, I don't think I've ever seen John. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Close quarters. A knee right to the face. That knee is a lethal weapon. Boom, what impact. Oh, he's such a tough target. What's he going to do with it? you got to believe this one's over. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. 
And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Look out here. Oh no, Nick Miller got outclassed there. Caught off guard. This could mean trouble. Vertical suplex. Nice. Oh boy, he is rolling. As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right out there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table. Here he goes. Is he done? I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Champion. The champ retains. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. One thing I can say about that match is that it had a few interesting moments. Very few. Well, that one was over before it even started. I can honestly say that a win is a little more satisfying when you make your opponent tap out. I think Boston is stunned by the outcome here, guys.